My financial advisor says, Front should do what they say they're going to do. I think that's why he put me in Oppenheimer Funds. Oppenheimer Funds. The right way to invest. Wedding bells are ringing today for one of the top names in country music. Travis Tritt is getting married to former model Teresa Nelson at his Georgia estate. Singer Marty Stewart will serve as best man, and other country music notables are expected to attend. It's the third marriage for Tritt, the first for Miss Nelson. Tony Randall is a father for the first time at the age of 77. The actor and his wife, Heather Harlan Randall, became proud parents of a baby girl yesterday. Julia Laurette Randall weighed in at 7 pounds, 8 ounces. Randall, best known as Felix Unger in the television series The Odd Couple, was present during the delivery. He met his 27-year-old wife, the National Actress Theater. The two were married by New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani in 1995. Bette Midler is spending a lot of time in New York parks these days. However, she's not doing open-air concerts. She's putting her time and money toward making things a little greener. Janine Sherrell has more. Fremont is not so lovely in Manhattan's High Bridge Park. As greenery starts to push up through the ground, it's overshadowed by public space. It's un unbelievable. Bette Midler is one of the world's best-known actresses, but she also plays a less public role as restorer of New York City's public parks. After moving to New York from Los Angeles three years ago, Midler was appalled at the state of Manhattan's once great park including the 120 acres in northern Manhattan called Highbridge Park. It used to be the speedway, and people would sit up on the cliffs, and they would watch the races down below. And it was very elegant, and there they kind of upper class permanent employees, including Annette Williams. We were starting first by cleaning and showing them that we are here for a reason, and it's their neighborhood, and it's safe to clean. Alongside volunteers and with the help of the city's parks department, the New York Restoration Project is cleaning up six parks. But High Bridge is one of the most challenging, and it will be years before the park is truly restored. Can you see that? That was a side. This little truck of oh, yeah. wild, wild garlic. Yeah. Oh. Some people think it's a new guy. Fabulous. Midler's green thumb was on. Gators said they narrowed their search to two mountains near Vail, Colorado. Images returned by two U.S. spy planes using high-tech radar have revealed five signs where pieces of the plane may rest. Better weather is helping the search for the plane, which broke off from a routine training mission 10 days ago. Officials have not ruled out the possibilities of navigational equipment or electrical failure as reasons for the disappearance. The automatic transponder will work if it is on, if it's turned off, if it won't. And if it, uh, uh, the automatic uh, and the emergency locator transponder would not go off. The parents of pilot Craig Batten visited their son just before he disappeared, but denied he was distraught over their visit. They released a statement saying, We are deeply grieved over the reports we have been hearing. We just came back from being with him for six days. You know, what the ease tensions between Catholics, Muslims, and Orthodox Serbs. Hours before his arrival, police found 23 mines, plastic explosives, and detonators under a bridge on the route the Pope was scheduled to take from the airport. A U.N. spokesman says security is extremely high. There is an enormous presence of Federation police in the area. The U.N. International Police is providing advice to the Federation Police. There's also uh, a, a presence of escort in the area. Uh, so uh, everything is being done uh, to secure uh, the visit of the Pope, uh, who is a guest of Bosnia Herzegovina. It's not known who planted the explosives. Police in Turin, Italy, say a short of the ancient relic. Turin's cardinal proclaims the rescue a miracle and confirms the cloth is intact. The shroud is revered by some Christians as the burial cloth of Jesus. And Israeli soldiers, the violence in the West Bank is taking a new form. In Hebron today, Palestinians and Jewish settlers began volleying rocks, a program that teaches kids responsibility by letting the horse around. I'm your Alex Day Hennon with your headline news weather. Another warm day on tap on Sunday in the southeastern U.S., at least in some locations, namely in Florida, into the 70s and 80s. But notice the polar air continues to spread on towards the east, so we will see cooler air back through parts of the east for time of year. Hey, well, yeah. Weather maps taking you from yeah. later today on into Sunday. Storm system approaches the west coast. That is a weak storm system. The one in the east uh, bringing more rain, but by late today, Sunday, most of that rain moving offshore. Still some heavier snows for eastern Canada. That is the latest look at your headline news.
Okay, thanks, Dave. Thousands rallied today on the steps of the Alabama State Capitol to publicly 